Let's walk through our brand new tick. So the tick has a mounting station. It has uh, power on the back here for either 12 volt or for uh, direct from battery or uh, a 12 volt uh, AC connection as well. And it has a programming, that's what the USB for is if you wanna program or download recorded pictures or video data. To remove it, push the button, lift up. There's a spare battery here that also you simply squeeze the top piece here and lift up and it'll come out. Uh, so the battery here, also, you can clip here and slide down, and it'll come out. To get the tick up and operational, we press and hold the button. Really, just a single press is all that's required when it boots. Upon booting, the camera will go into an auto record function. We'll see um, an icon up here once it's in record mode. If I want to change the screen layout, so now it's in uh, black box recording mode. Uh, if I want to change the screen layout, I simply press the middle button one time. And so now we're in a, a, a different fire screen. Um, I don't have anything hot to really demonstrate, but it's going to change some of the colors based off of what we see here, black and white, colorations, etc. The leftmost button, pressing one time, is going to turn on the laser. If I press and hold for three seconds, it's going to go to heat tracking mode. This is There's a little red X that will jump around. So we see one down here. It's going to literally track what is the hottest thing or rising temperatures on something. If I press and hold for three seconds again, it'll now turn it into cold mode. So now it's going to find the coldest thing and track it. And if I press and hold one more time, it'll now go into both. So I've got both red and blue jumping around for heat tracking. Pressing and holding uh, for three seconds on the middle button is really just going to uh, allow us to continue to switch through the other mode screens. Uh, everything is in Fahrenheit, as you can see, and uh, everything is time sync to time-wise time sync to uh, a local PC. So if we need to update time and dates, we need to connect it to a computer, of course. To shut the system down, we need to hold the green button for three seconds and it will shut down at that time and snap it back in to charge it. The carabiner here has two options for mounting. It's either this side or that side on the wire connections and you are ready to go.